We are in Hawaii. <laughs> what? Check out this view. This morning we found this awesome secret beach, so we came back because all the public ones are just way, way too crowded always. And we are literally the only ones, but the tide is like right underneath us. So we're gonna have to leave shortly, but we've seen sea turtles like three or four and it's just pretty epic. As you can see, looking a little touristy here <laughs> on the last day. Got myself a sarong, a lei, because yeah. we went to a luau. And then yesterday I found my dream hat. Yep. This totally adorable palm leaf hat. I'm gonna try and get it on the plane. <laughs> she keeps saying that I have I... to wear it on the plane and I'm like, no way, <laughs> well, I'm not wearing that thing. We just got to our place in Maui. We're right outside of Lahaina. Here is our beautiful beachy shower. We've got our beautiful beachy master suite. And here is our main living room. Loving this. Check it out. Look at this gorgeous skylight we've got. Hey guys, good morning. It's our first full day here on the island of Maui. And Dusty is actually out doing a scuba dive by himself. I just decided to kind of explore the area and familiarize myself, so I found a farmer's market, got a huge watermelon, wasn't too disappointed with that, and decided to go for a run along the beach to finish out my long run, took my shoes off. Man, it's been a workout. Bob Marley Acai Bowl. We found the best spot in town. So this is called Farmer's Market Maui. This morning they had a market out on the parking lot and we came in and they had a raw food buffet, like a huge deli with tons of acai and pitaya bowls, salads, vegan burgers, raw pizzas, and like ridiculous amounts of awesome samples. So we're gonna be back here a lot. Okay, I'm standing on a rock. The tide's coming in and it's actually probably kind of dangerous. But it is amazing out here. And there are sea turtles right there over my left shoulder. We found this secret beach not too far from our place. Yeah, it pays to go for runs and do workouts when you travel because it's a great way to sightsee and kind of be able to peek in between houses and check out beaches and things like that. So Anywhere we go, even New York City, we get out, we go for a run and that's how you really see a lot in a short <laughs> amount of time. And then you know where you want to go. After five days on Kauai and four days here on Maui, what we really, really loved and noticed is that the land is so unrefined, so yes. gritty, so natural. Yesterday we did the entire road to Hana. It oh took my us gosh. 11 hours. The road to Hana. We are on the road to Hana. It's just starting. Do you see a porta potty or anything? Gotta take a Hana, baby. So we are parked at a little roadside thing. We're building a house right there. Not a bad spot when you consider that the beach is right here.
So we are on the road to Hana. We just kind of got started. Got a little bit of a late start, but it's a full day excursion. So we packed our bags, lunch, snacks, had to stop off for a little watermelon, and we're gonna check out some waterfalls shortly. because it actually has a full five course vegan menu so we're in for that and the view of course is amazing vegan luau <laughs> so we're here at the feast at lele luau and it's five course vegan meal and every single course has three options i believe so it looks like we've got pickled onions green onions island tomato and hawaiian black sea salt bamboo pineapple rice with caramelized pepper pineapple chef special. So we've got seitan instead of uh, pork ribs. This is our Tahitian course. This is something in veg vegetables in a coconut milk and lime juice. Hey, I'm Kevin. Yeah. From Hi. Byron Bay in Australia. Hi, and I'm Chris from Byron Bay in Australia. <laughs> We're here with Erin and Dusty. Yay. New friends. Yay. New friends. From, and these are the from guys. Australia. We're going to stay with these guys when we yeah, come yeah. visit Australia, yeah. right? Yeah. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Byron Bay. <laughs> Yesterday we did the entire road to Hana. It oh took us gosh. 11 hours. The thing we liked while we were driving is that you don't really know like where's the start of this village and where's the end of it. Everything is just overgrown and yeah. lush and undefined. And in the same way, like something we've been talking about recently on this trip is just how can we begin to undefine ourselves? Because totally. so much of the time we're so worried that we need to know what our passion is and we're all trying to find ourselves and define ourselves with yep. our hashtags and our Instagram profiles. Sometimes we use those as like a comfort blanket. Totally. We use our social media platforms and our YouTube channel to meet people and connect all over the world. So for us, it works and we love it, but it is really easy to get sucked into these like small bubbles and funnels like we've talked about before where you're defined by the things that you like. So then you almost start to like conform to those things to be like other people. Mm -hmm. But we noticed out here that it's just more chill. Like everything is aloha. It's just like people are themselves. How can we become more of that? And Hawaii really, of any of the places we've been, has helped us to embrace more of that. And, totally. And helped us to realize, you know, we don't need to hide behind the comfort blanket of hashtag vegan no. to really prove who we are or to feel like we fit in or belong. Because you know what? We should all try more to lead by example. Just yeah. be who you are. Be the light. My dad and I don't have like the best relationships, so I'm always like searching like who's this older man that I can look up to and I can just copy and be like. But I'm finding out that like I have to be the man that I want to be. And that, that means I don't get to copy anybody. You know, God created me to be me so I could be me for you and for you. So be you, that's what we're trying to do. And that's why people come to Hawaii because yeah. <laughs> Hawaii is just, it's, it's being itself, you yeah. know? And the people here fight for it to stay the way that it is yep. rather than conforming to so many other places. It's just so raw. raw. Yeah. yeah. If you're kind of feeling like you just can't find yourself, you're really struggling and you've struggled with your whole life, We've talked a lot about that. I just... Join the club. <laughs> we've just started to realize, like, who cares? Don't worry about it. 
as soon as you have it all figured out, yeah. either you're gonna get tired of that and you're gonna you're gonna change, or something's gonna throw you for a loop and right. you're gonna be forced into change. So sometimes it's better to just be undefined. You already know who you are. You are your creator's child. We are all children of God. Like Aaron said, as soon as you figure think you have it figured out. Something is going to change. There's going to be a wrench thrown and you're going to be like, whoa, now what do I do? That's the way life is. We are never supposed to be comfortable. We're not ever supposed to know. We're always learning and always hopefully creating and changing. And with age comes wisdom. With new experiences comes wisdom and knowledge. That's why we travel. I mean, we're just looking forward to more experiences, sharing them with you, and hopefully inspiring you guys to also travel and be yourself. When you get lost, you realize that finding yourself is just overrated anyways, because yeah. <laughs> you open up so many different doors of different potential opportunities in your life, and you're just okay with being lost. Rather than trying to find yourself, try to find God, try to seek God. And the best way we've found is in nature. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've been like just beside myself speechless so many times on this trip, not because of what man has created, but because of what God has created. This is the place to see it, to witness it, to feel it, to experience it. Getting a little disconnected, you know, totally. like we barely had cell service service yeah. at all yesterday. You're so much more present and you feel so much more deeply yes. and you feel so much more alive. If you guys like this video, you know the drill. Give us a thumbs up, leave us some love, leave a comment below. Let us know what you liked about the video, what you'd like to see in the future. Follow Aaron and I on social media at Aaron Stanzik, at yes. DB Stanzik. Hit the bell to stay notified for future videos. And like we said before, live aloha. Eat, move, rest, your, your best, best. <laughs> even when you travel.